A friend of mine who owned a club in Canada gave me free tickets to see Jeff Healy. Ah. And you never know what little thing is going to change your life. That's the reason I'm standing in Memphis today. It's the reason I did everything I did from that day forward. I, uh, I, changed, I quit my band I'd been in for, for 15 years. I moved to Seattle. It changed the relationships that I had. It changed the college I went to. Everything in my life changed. I lost 15 pounds. It was like falling in love with a guy. And. Uh, so that was, it was kind of a blinding, born-again moment. I saw that rhythm section work. I'm a bass player, and I saw that rhythm section working together. Suddenly I understood what music was supposed to do and what I was supposed to do with it. That was the best moment maybe I ever had. When I first heard my first blues record, which was uh, had some harmonica players on it, I instantly recognized this is what I always loved about music, but I never knew it was a whole style with just that. All right. <laughs> and it just... You know, I always remember making up songs and thinking of music, but when I heard of blues as a kid, I never knew it was music that made you feel good. I just you know, always thought of, you know, it was sad or depressing, but when I first got hip to it, I was, I was just, it changed my life. I mean, that was it. I knew that that's what I loved, and the direction of my life changed. I didn't know how much it had changed at that moment, but it, one thing led to the other. I bought my first Muddy Waters record. I fell in love with the blues, Muddy Waters would play my high school gymnasium, I'd t take up harmonica, I would uh, uh, just involve myself in the blues around Chicago and uh, it just it kept going from there. Men have midlife crises, <laughs> so do women. So I got divorced and uh, I was working in PR at the time and I decided that with my divorce pro proceeds, yeah. <laughs> I was going to set up my own company and uh, I had just been introduced to John Lee Hooker and Howlin' Wolf and I was hooked. So that's why I then said, okay, I want to do something that I really enjoy, that I'm a great fan of and have been doing the blues music world ever since. <laughs> Thank you, Betsy. Thank you, Marshall. All right, give me a Wonderful. hug now. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you for coming, too. Oh, absolutely. Really I had a, appreciated I had a ball. it. I had a ball. Good, good. And you'll still have more balls. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I will. I have many balls. <laughs>